Hello, everyone. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how I stay more productive in Vetrix software by just using this mouse right here. And this lesson I'll be showing you today is actually part of my free Vetrix bootcamp training. So if you find this lesson valuable, make sure you check the link down below in the description to sign up for my free Vetrix bootcamp that will teach you everything you need to know to get started with Vetrix software. Now, if you're using a laptop, I highly, highly recommend getting a mouse to go with that. You don't want to use the touchpad that comes with the laptop because you're going to have a really difficult time trying to use the Vetrix software. Even if you get a cheap $10 or $20 mouse, it's much better than using the touchpad. But if you even want to get a little bit more advanced with a mouse, I highly recommend getting a mouse like this one I have here. And this is the Logitech MX Master number two. They did make a third version of this as well, which is even better, but that came out after I got this one. So I would recommend getting the third one. But not only is this mouse very comfortable, it also has a button right here, two buttons on the side, a scroll wheel on the side, a button at the top, as well as a clickable scroll wheel. And I'll show you in Vetrix software why all of that is very helpful. So if we go back into the software, not only can you use the mouse to move around and zoom in and out, which I show you more in depth how to do that in the free Vectric Bootcamp link below, but you can also use all of these buttons on the mouse as keyboard shortcuts for doing specific tasks. So as you can see with the Logitech mouse, you can set up specific tasks for all of the buttons and you can customize these however you need to. So as you can see, this side button I have set up to copy. This top one I have set up to paste. And then the buttons on the side I have set up for F11, which is the keyboard shortcut to open up the drawing tab. And then I have it set up for F12 for the other one, which is the keyboard shortcut to open up the toolpath tab. And you can set these up for specific software. So as you can see, I have Aspire set here and all of these keyboard shortcuts are only for Aspire. And then my other software, I can use different buttons for those software. So this is very handy to have different buttons set up for each software that you use. So as you can see, if we go back into Vetrix software, if I were to have an object on the screen, and if I select that object and push the side button right here with my thumb, that's gonna copy it. Now, if I push this top button up here, that's going to paste it. And now you can see I have a copy. So that's a quick way to copy and paste objects without my hand even moving from the mouse. And I copy and paste a lot. That's why I have these two buttons set up. Another thing I do a lot is switch back and forth from the drawing tab to the toolpath tab. So on the side of the mouse, I can click these with my thumb. And if I click the one at the bottom, it switches over to the toolpath tab. And if I click the one at the top, it switches over to the drawing tab. So as you can see, that's another quick way to do something that I already do a lot. Now I can do it without my hand even leaving the mouse. So if you get a mouse like this, you can set these buttons up to the keyboard shortcut that you use the most. And to do that, it's gonna come with this software where you can change the buttons and you just click on the button that you want to change. And then if you wanted this set up as a keyboard shortcut, you would go to keystroke assignment and in here, you just click the button that you want it to go to. So for instance, I can do F3. And now I can go away from this and close. Now inside of Vetrix software, if I click that top button, now it's going to go to the F3 keyboard shortcut, which is the keyboard shortcut to open the 3D view. And then if you wanted to, you could set up the side button to go to F2, which is the keyboard shortcut to open up the 2D view. So whatever operations you find that you use the most, you can set those up right within the buttons of your mouse. So if you're interested in this mouse, I will drop the link below for this. I hope you found this lesson valuable. And if you did, make sure you check the link in the description for my free Vetric Bootcamp training that has many more lessons just like this one. And as always, if you have any questions, just let me know.